Hey everybody, so if you follow my channel or you're familiar with my work, you know that I'm more of an Android guy than an iPhone guy. But I still use an iPhone quite regularly because there are indeed things that iPhones, or at least iOS, does better than Android. I think iOS has always had better video stabilization, like the iPhone 11 Pro's video camera is just much better than any of these video cameras. And I think the Apple Watch is light years better than any Android smartphone. But the third and maybe most important features of iOS that I wish was on Android is AirDrop. It, AirDrop, if you're not familiar, it's basically a way to transfer files between iOS devices. It uses a combination of Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, so it increases typical Bluetooth speed. So it's pretty simple. I just have to tap on this icon, tap AirDrop, and you see my iOS devices are already here. I'm going to send over to my iPhone. So now it's sending, and then now it is... It has been now it has been transferred over to my iPad right there. So that whole process took what like four or five seconds, and I send 4K videos over all the time, and it takes um, like under under 30 seconds to send like a five minute 4K video. So the good news, at least for certain type of smartphone users, is that Xiaomi and Vivo and Oppo have announced that they are jointly developing their version of AirDrop. So according to the initial press release, they claim that the file transfer can achieve up to 20 megabytes per second. So that means it's obviously using a combination of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth too, just like AirDrop. So I have here the Xiaomi Mi Note 10 running Mi UI 11. So this is the catch. So the catch is you need the newest software versions of Xiaomi or Oppo or Vivo phones to use this new AirDrop. So I have here the Xiaomi Mi Note 10 with Mi UI 11, this is the newest version. And this new um, AirDrop, I don't think they have an official name yet, so we'll call it Xiaomi Vivo Oppo Drop, does indeed work. So this is a really large photo. I shot this with a 108 megapixel sensor. So you see the file size is 21.67 megabytes. So now if I wanna share this, so I have here the Huawei Mate 30 Pro, the Google Pixel 4, the LG GAX, and the Vivo Nix 3. So of these four phones, only the Vivo is in partnership with Xiaomi to use this Xiaomi Oppo Vivo job. So you just have to tap on the share icon and now you turn on share and now searching for devices nearby. And then you see Vivo Nix 3 5G is already showing. So now I just have to send this Now remember, this is a pretty large file size and I have to click accept on Vivo and it is now sending over. It's moving pretty fast. See, 3751. So that is it. That file is now on my Vivo Nix 3. And now watch what happens if I want to send the same photo to these other three phones, LG, Google, Huawei. So first of all, it's not showing up in this share menu at all because they're not part of the the Oppo Vivo Xiaomi Alliance. So instead I have to tap on Bluetooth, refresh to find the phone. So you see the Mate 30 Pro is showing up. LG GAX is not showing up at all. Google Pixel 4 is not showing up at all, even though Bluetooth is indeed on. So I'll send it to the Mate 30 Pro. So now we'll see how long this takes. So I have to tap accept. Is it sending? Yeah, so look at how slow this is going now. 5%, 6%, 8 I mean, at this pace, it's gonna take like two minutes to send this photo over to the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. All right, I'm not gonna wait. I don't have time for this. Let's try to send a video too. So this video is, about 37 megabytes in size. So I'm gonna send, see again, just one tap and it begins sending over to the Vivo Nix 3G. I have to accept it here, I think, yeah. So now it's sending 10%, 19, 30, 38. Yep, so sent the whole video over, a 30 megabyte video over in like 25 seconds. And again, if I want to share this to my Pixel, 
it is not even picking up the pixel at all it is not picking up LG at all even though Bluetooth is on if I want to send Huawei it's going to take forever too yeah so anyway so that's it for this video this is just a quick look at the file transferring system developed by Xiaomi Oppo and Vivo in partnership this is their answer to airdrop now this is very useful for me because I use these three brands a lot but unfortunately a lot of people in the US I would say most people in the US will never use a Vivo or Oppo or Xiaomi phone so to them this new technology doesn't matter and to a lot of other Android users in maybe Europe it might not matter that much too but this should help a lot for people in China people in Hong Kong maybe in Singapore because there will be more Xiaomi and Oppo and Vivo users then we can send files to each other now a little bit easier just like Apple users that's it for now I'm gonna have more videos coming up including on the Google Pixel 4 and a couple of other devices if you're interested please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram at Ben's Gadget Reviews thanks for watching